Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and today we are going to talk about top 10 tablet tips that will make your life easier. So without any further delays, let's get started with our tip number one, which talks about how to find all the calculated fields in the sidebar. So most of us while building a dashboard, we sometimes create multiple calculated fields. And when we want to find a particular calculated field, if we haven't used the right naming convention, we sometimes struggle. So in Tableau version 2021.1, there is a new feature which allows us to find all the calculated fields at one place. So as you can see here, there is a filter button which allows us to filter all these dimension filter, uh, dimension measure, uh, calculation and commands at one place. So when you click on this filter icon and click on the calculation, it will only display all the calculations which you have manually created. And also if you want to see all the dimensions, you click on dimension and it will only show you all the dimensions which are used in that dashboard. So that's quite a handy tip. Moving on to tip two is how to remove ABCs from Tableau table with all the dimensions. So as you can see here, I have brought three different dimensions and you will see ABC on the right hand side. So there are two separate ways to remove that ABC. The first simple and quick way is just going to the marks and change from automatic and select a polygon. That will remove all the ABCs and then you can just adjust the width of the table and just hide it and format the lines or the borders. So that's one way of doing it. Let's go back and the other way is just to create a calculated field. Let's say we create a blank calculated field and we create a blank space in the calculated field. Now I will bring that blank field into the shelf and it will look something like this. So instead of bringing it into the rules, I need to bring it in the text one and it will remove all the ABCs from there. So that's step number two. Let's move to tip number three. So this tip talks about the field headers at the top. So Tableau default behavior is to put the field headers at the bottom of a vertical axis chart. So as you can see here, all the field headers are at the bottom of the chart. So what if I want to move these field headers at the top rather than at the bottom? So there is a quick way to do that. We just have to go to analysis menu and then we go to table layout and we go to advanced and when we go to advanced a table option window pops up and there you have to uncheck this icon which talks about shows innermost level at the bottom of the view when there is a vertical axis so uncheck that and you press ok you will see all these field headers are at the top of the chart now nice nice and quick handy tip. Now moving on to tip number four where we are talking about how to create a field header when we are using a single measure. So as you can see here there is a sales value at the top right. So how we can create that. So first of all let me remove everything and I will bring let's say uh, product and in this I will bring subcategory and I will let's say bring category as well and I will bring sales so you will see once we bring that there is no header at the top for sales so there is a quick way to do that so for this we will just double click on any other measure so let's say we clicked on profit you will see here now we have profit and sales measure and there is a measure name filter in the filter shelf so what we need to do we just go in the filter shelf edit filter and uncheck the profit which we don't need and click OK. So now you can see the sales field label is at the top which was not there before. Moving on to tip number four is about total and subtotals. How to create that? So as you can see here I have brought region, category and subcategories with their sales value and I want to see the totals at subcategory level, category, and region level. So how I can do that? So there are two ways again. So the first way is just going to the analytics 
section on the left hand side and click on totals. When you click on totals, you will see there is a total section, total row created at the bottom of subcategories. And that is basically for furniture. So the total furniture value is 163 grand, right? And if you see at the region level, there is another total row here, which talks about the total of all these categories together. So that is 501k. And if you scroll down at the bottom, there will be a grand total as well. So that's one way of doing that. So let me revert back this. And there are no totals right now. So another way is just going to the analysis menu and go to totals and you can say show column grand total. So it will give you the grand total of the columns at the bottom, right? And now I want to create the subtotals. So I go back to analysis again, go to totals and say add all subtotals. And you will see it added all the subtotals here. And let's say I don't want the totals by category. So I can just go to the drop down icon on the categories and uncheck subtotals from here and you will see all the totals by these categories disappear. And if you want to bring that back, you just go back there and click on subtotals and it will bring back the totals. That's tip number five. And I am hoping you are finding this useful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please consider subscribing. Moving on to tip number six. So how to create separate color legend per measure. So as you can see in this chart, we have subcategories and there are three different measures, profit, quantity, and sales. How can I bring a separate color highlight on each of these measures? So there are two ways again. The first one is just pressing control or command key and bringing the measure names into the color shell. And you will see all of these are colored separately just by each measure, but there is no trend like based on lower value to higher value. So if you just want to color individual measure values, you can do it this way. But if you want to color it separately with in a form of heat map kind of thing, then there is another way. So you just bring the command, command key in Mac or control key in Windows and press measure values and bring it to the color shell. And you will see here, all of these are colored from lower value to the maximum value. And as you can see here, the minimum value is 19, minus 17 grand and the maximum is 330 grand. So it's really not making much sense here, right? But I want to color individual measure values separately. So how I can do that, we just click on the drop down on the color mark measure value and say, click on use separate legends. When you click that, each of these separate measures will have a separate color legend. So let's say profit, right? So profit values are ranging from minus 17 grand to 55 grand. And I will edit the colors by clicking on that. And let's say I select green here, right? And you will see all of them are in green shade. Same way I will do it for quantity. And I will select, let's say, orange. And I will do the same thing for sales and I will select in this case, let's say purple. And you will see all of, I guess I selected the wrong one here. Let me change and select the purple. Okay. And you will see all of these are highlighted in different color shade in the form of a heat map. And you can actually change the marks and select the squares. And you will see all of them are highlighted that way. Nice and handy tip which can be used on a day-to-day -day basis to when you are using multiple measures with few or more dimensions. Moving on to the next step is how to create color legend per dimensions. So in this scenario, I have brought categories and subcategories by sales in the form of bar chart. And I want to, instead of using one color legend, I want to use multiple color legends. So I will show you how to do first one color legend. So let's say I want to do the color legend by subcategory. I will bring it here and you can see all of these colors are highlighted in the bars. But I want to bring categories as well. So if I bring categories like this, it will only bring just the categories, only one dimension at a time. So in, if you want to bring two dimensions, you just click categories and press command key or control key and select subcategories. 
and then drag both of them to the color shelf and you will see the combination of category and subcategory are in the chart and you can see furniture all the furniture ones are in the shade of blue all the office supplies are in the shade of orange and technology in the shade of green and then you can sort the colors and if you want to individually select it you can change the color combination and you can do it that way moving on to tip number seven so in this step we are talking about how to find a group member based on the selection or based on the keyword selection why right? so in this I have brought the manufacturer into the row shelf and in this case I want to create a group on manufacturer so I will click right click on manufacturer and create a group and when I create a group there is an option here if you see by default it's hidden but I have already clicked it before so it was showing me so you can go here and find all the members so let's say in this case I want to use something called clear and I will say find all so if you scroll down it will show me all the manufacturers which have clear in their name and I will select that and I will say create a group for this one as uh, clear one group and include others and everything else is others so if I click OK and bring manufacturer group in here you will see all of the other values are shown as other and the one with the clear one is shown somewhere let's check where it went seems like I didn't click group there right edit group let's check again so everything is in others right so let me uncheck that and let me say clear and find all include others and group them all together group so first I created a empty group oh so we don't need an empty group so I will just cancel it and recreate it edit group and I will go to clear find all group and then I will say include others right so clear one and clear sound is in one group and everything else is in other group and I click OK and here now we will see clear one and clear sound is in one group and everything else is in the other group so that's about finding group members using keyword search now moving on to our next uh, selection next step is re-showing the hidden field labels so as you can see in this table we have brought two dimensions and two measure values so let's say I don't want to see the header field header for dimension so I will right click on that and hide the field labels right there are no field labels right now and if you want to bring it back you can right click and show the field labels by row as well and sometimes you don't see that option when you right click on that or when you don't know if there are any field labels there so there is another way to look into that as well by just going to analysis tab and going to table layout and there is an option which says show field labels for rows if you click on that it will bring back those field labels. Now moving on to our last tip of the day is how to use up and down arrows in our KPIs. So for example in this case I have the percentage difference of profit by year and I have formatted the filter and currently showing percentage value for positive and negative so let me start it from the beginning so let's remove everything and let's bring category or subcategory and category into the row shell and bring profit and then I want to bring order date into the column shell for all the years then I will click on the profit pearl and add a quick table calculation and show percentage difference and then I will go into the format section and I will change 
the numbers into percentage to one decimal place and then I will go to custom tab and in the custom tab you will see 0.0% .0 is showing you the formatting of the entire number as it is but if we want to keep the positive value in a different format and negative value in a different format so we will just create a semicolon here and type in 0.0 percent and if we want to show a negative sign in the front we can show it like this or if we don't want negative sign you can see on the table how values changes so let's say I don't want the negative sign I want a bracket because in most of the financial terms we show negative value as a bracket so we can use it that way and also if we want to add positive and negative error to that so how we can do that so for this we need a shape geometrical shapes so in this case I have used this website to pick up the geometrical shapes you can use any shape so let's say I want a negative shape so I just go and select that and copy it and I will go back to the tableau section change the number and that's the negative one so I will just paste it here and it will start showing me all the negative values right and same way if I want to see the positive values I will just select that copy it and we'll go back to the tablet section again into the custom format and I will put it as a positive value so you can see all the positive value with up arrow and all the negative values with the down arrow so these are all the tablet tips for today's session I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions please feel free to drop me a message or comment in the section below thank you